some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Greenville, South Carolina, with a couple of smooth brain frauditors who think that their Fourth Amendment rights are being violated when they enter the courthouse and have to pass through the metal detector and go through all the security, pretty much. I mean, what a pair of blockheads. I mean, that is fairly uh, common sense stuff within a high security building like that. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Just coming in to make a records request. A records request? Yes, sir. You have to get to your pockets. I'm going to have to scan your junk. I'm going to have to this real quick. You guys. Now this imbecile right here, uh, he was asked to empty all his pockets, and he did not do so. He left his wallet in his pocket because he thought it was a violation of his Fourth Amendment rights. Well, uh, dude, that's uh, incredibly stupid right there, considering that uh, your Fourth Amendment right covers unreasonable searches and seizures, and they were not going to search your wallet at all. It was just going to be scanned, and that's really about it. You freaking moron. Yes. Okay, I want to be filming the courthouse. Why not? There's a Supreme Court order from Judge D. that says that we can. Hey, I ask that's you, called a search. Sir, I ask you just to remove your, just to take your stuff, just stuff out your pockets for me, please. My wallet's not anything metal in my wallet. We have cards in it that have a, a, a magnetized strip on it that sets that off. So you didn't specify one. I took out my phone. I, I, didn't, I just asked you. To, I just asked you to empty your pockets to come in the courtroom. That's all. I don't consent to searches. Okay. Okay. You don't consent. You don't answer questions, and you don't want to cooperate. Okay, my man. You know what the solution to that is. You can turn around and walk your happy ass out of the building because this is a secure facility. I mean, if they can't exactly figure out who you are, you are a security risk. It's as simple as that. All right, well, if you're going to get searched and just go back out the door, we're, 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 we're on security here. We don't have time for gangs, man. We don't have time for gangs. Look, I mean, he's stuck his hand you, in my pocket and he has the wallet. I'm, yeah, so. I'm not mad at you, but we've got a job to do. we got to make sure nobody comes in here shooting. First of all, why are you getting so people? close to me and why are you talking so? Because I want to. Because you want to? Yes, because I want to. Because I, I don't mind. I'm just telling you where it is. Don't get all bent out of shape, man. You're bent out of shape. You or, came from back there. Uh, yes, um, yes, I'm telling you right now. We're not going to play this. I think this. you need to de-escalate. Okay, I think you need to get out of the courtroom. All right. Well, officer, yeah, simple, straight to the point. I mean, to go in and tell him to get out, but this is a frauditor. He is not going to leave because he believes he owns this joint. Well, not really, but he thinks that because he's a self-entitled prick. This is a courtroom. This is a courthouse. Yes, you're going to go through security get out. I was just went through. What do you mean? No, you said you don't want to consent to search. So did you, you, did you not run me down? We just asked you. If you're not consent to okay. search, go do out. Do you want me to take my wallet out of my pocket? Yes, please. That's what a search is. That, that, no, that's not what a search is. Everyone that comes to this gets searched by this milk detector for weapons. That's all we have. We don't want anyone hurt. No Whoa. babies, no killers, no nothing. There you go. It still went off. Okay. Now, do right, you want to wind me again? Sure. That'd be great. Thank you. Let's go, Cutler. All right. Cell phone wallet keys, please. All right. Go like this. That's thing with his metal. Well, you gonna make me take it out of here? That's in my pocket. That's not in my come pocket. On, All right, take it off. You want to? Come on, come, come on, bro. You know, Frauditor, it might be helpful for you to leave the camera and the pod on the other side because you know what? It might be setting off the metal detector. That's just a thought. But then again, you Frauditors are always so attached to your cameras they become a part of your body in fact that's the biggest complaint that you have 
Don't touch my camera. It's a part of my body. You touch your camera. You touch me. Oh, joy. I mean, it's it's probably my belt or this. Okay, you're good. All right, now what you need? I've already answered that question. No, what are you here for? What's your business? I've already answered that question. You're, I'm asking you, no, you're not going any further. What did I mean? not tell you my business already? Sir. I don't know what he said. I'm standing in front of you. What do you can mean? Can you please tell this gentleman to move out of my way so I can conduct my business? Get some records of some kind. Can you please move out of my way? Okay, I'm not answering the question again because I've already answered the question. Well, he please wants to talk to you. I'm, you're dealing with me now. Did I not just warn you? I don't know what your game is, but I'm my here is to conduct my business. Okay, you're there to conduct your business, but you have no business because you don't know what your business is there at this moment. But the officer uh, knows what his business is, and his business is to kick you out for not uh, knowing what your business is. Sorry if that's so confusing, but basically the officer's about to kick his sorry ass out the door. Since I am here, I'm not relying on him as to what you're doing. I am here with a wand. What do you need? What's your business here? I'll, 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 I'll conduct my business with the clerk. What is your business here in this sir, courtroom? Sir, I'm not in a courtroom. I, sir, I am the judge of this court, and all of these areas here are include that. Stop taping now. Take that away from him. Leave the building, both of them. Go. Can I ask a question right no, here? No, sir. You'll be in contempt if you don't leave the building right okay. now. I'm going go up this way. Go up this way. Watch out this way. Oh, yeah, you'll respect the uh, orders of a judge, won't you? But these tyrant cops who tell you the exact same thing that you're not allowed to film in there and that you had to go because of it, well, they are all wrong. Well, uh, that is until the judge comes along and uh, backs them up. Then you book it. Wow. Judge Hawley, Supreme Court Justice Beatty just entered a judge's opinion. You should follow the law. Well, I'll have to look it up. I don't know Okay, can you look it up now, sir? Could you look it up, please? Oh, wow. Y'all are crazy. Oh, that's laughable. That coming from a frauditor. You calling the judge crazy? Well, the man's uh, very well educated, unlike the two of you. You two are probably high school dropouts and uh, very much undereducated. Exact things last time, violating the law. And this officer here needs to have a reprimand on him because you're hostile Cutler. for no reason. Yeah, I'm hostile. I obviously can read. I said your name earlier. Define hostile. You're hostile. Your actions. You're hostile. Damn, he didn't turn around. Same exact thing as last time. Well, now, there you have it. Stupid is as stupid does, and these two guys were about as stupid as you can get. I mean, they're lucky they didn't get charged with contempt of court for uh, antagonizing that judge just now. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.